Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Beauty by Jessie. I hope that your little grey cells are in good order because today we're going to be doing a Poirot makeup challenge. Here he is, the man with the finest moustache in crime, Hercule Poirot. The great thing about the TV show is the attention to detail. From the credits to the set design, the whole thing screams of the 1930s. The makeup was amazing too. Just look at this picture of Miss Lemon, Poirot's assistant. She has a beautiful light base with a delicate blush and red lips. This is a look that is repeated throughout the series in different characters. And it's this look that I want to recreate today with my tutorial. For this look, I prime my face. I started by laying down a lot of powder. You'll notice that in these 1920s looks, the faces are always exquisitely powdered and very pale. So I'm adding a lot and a lot of powder. In the 1930s, it was often quite common for beauty trends to be inspired by film stars, and they often kept their skin very, very pale. They used white or ivory tinted powder or rice powder applied on top of a classic vanishing cream. I'm not going to use period ingredients, but I am going to make sure that my face is properly powdered before I apply the foundation. Next, I'm using a liquid foundation to go on top of the powder that I've already laid. I'm adding a good two pumps of foundation here and it's going to make my face look very pale, nice and smooth and evened out like those beautifully dull faced characters in the Poirot series. Next comes concealer, really important if you want to create an even skin tone. Then I prime my lids. I'm using Shadow Insurance by Too Faced today. After priming, I blend in my concealer. I've left it on to make it a bit more full coverage. Then I take my brow pencil and I fill in my brows. Brows are tricky because in the 20s and 30s, the fashion was for very, very skinny brows and I'm not really into that. So what I've done instead is to fill in my brows a little less full than I'd normally do. Next, I take my crease brush and the color Warm Taupe from the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And what I'm doing here, after I've tapped off the excess, is to just lightly put a little bit of shadow in the outside of the eye blending into the crease but trying to keep as light a hand as I can possibly manage. The focus really is on the lips with this look rather than the eyes so all I'm trying to do is add a little bit of definition. After I'm happy with my shadow I'm taking a black eyeshadow again by ABH and I'm applying it using a flat brush to tight line my eyes. There wasn't as much heavy eyeliner on Poirot as you might find in Mad Men or something, and so I'm really keeping my eyeliner quite thin. Next, I take some blush and apply it sparingly on the apples of my cheeks. After the blush is applied, I'm adding lip liner. This is a color by NYX. This is going to help the liquid lip color have some definition and look nice and crisp like Miss Lemons. Finally, I take my Bare Minerals liquid lip it's perhaps not as brick red as Miss Lamont's, but it looks good with my skin tone, and so that's why I've chosen it today. Finally, I add a little bit of mascara. And there you have it. That's the finished look. There we go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!